Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today let us, uh, let us allow the celebration of the Eucharist, the proclamation of the Word, and the breaking of the bread to warm our hearts to console us, to heal us, and to give us strength. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the, the highest and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, 
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And the man crippled from the birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and walked into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, son of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Oh uh-huh. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus, the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophet spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our two stories from the Holy Scriptures, in our celebration of the Mass this Easter Wednesday, we hear of two stories where people were feeling downcast, they were feeling very weak, sad, and lonely. In our Gospel today, from the story of the road to Emmaus, we see the two disciples of Jesus, according to the gospel passage, going to a town of Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. They were leaving Jerusalem 
because they feel downcast. They were very sad at what had happened. And in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, we see the crippled man, a man born crippled from his birth. And every day he was at the temple gate asking for alms. These two stories of people who are in need of healing, who are lonely, who are sad, who are downcast. And in these two stories, we see that Jesus and His power approaches people, specifically during times of sadness, during times of weakness, during times of sickness. Makikita po natin sa dalawang kwento sa ating mga pagbasa ngayong araw mula sa Biblia na ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo at ang kanyang kapangyarihan ay dumarating sa buhay natin lalo na kapag may pinagdaraanan tayo na pakiramdam natin ay nanghihina tayo. Pinanghihinaan ng loob, kagaya ng dalawang disipulo sa ating Ebanghelyo, kagaya ng unang pagbasa, pinanghihinaan ng katawan, sapagkat siya ay pinanganak na lumpo, at araw-araw ay humihingi lamang ng limos sa templo. Mga pagkakataong tayo ay pinanghihinaan ng loob, pinanghihinaan ng katawan. Diyan sa mga pagkakataon na yan, dumarating si Jesus. Hindi man natin inaasahan minsan, kagaya ng kwento ng Ebanghelyo, subalit diyan kapag pinanghihinaan tayo, dumarating si Jesus. And in our gospel passage today, we see how Jesus strengthened the hearts of the disciples. What did Jesus do? He opened the scriptures to them and He broke the bread for them. Through those two actions, opening the scriptures, breaking the bread, the disciples were strengthened. And so the disciples were saying, were not our hearts burning as He opened the Scriptures to us? Their hearts that are downcast and cold, when they heard Jesus explaining the Scriptures to them, it was burning. Their hearts were warmed because Jesus spoke to them the scriptures. And when Jesus broke the bread for them, their eyes that were downcast were open to recognize the Lord. Ang mga puso nila na pinanghihinaan at nanlalamig na ay Nag-apoy, sabi nila, nag-init ang kanilang mga puso nang marinig nila si Jesus ay nagsasalita sa kanila ng mga salita ng Diyos. At nang si Jesus ay nagbigay ng tinapay sa kanila, naghati at ibinigay sa kanila ang kanilang mga mata na nanlulumo at malungkot ay binuksan muli ng Diyos nakakita muli ng pagkabuhay at pag-asa. That is also what happened in the first reading when Peter approached the crippled man and announced to him the good news that he was being healed because of Jesus, the Nazarean, the risen Lord. According to our first reading, his body his feet and his ankles grew strong. He leaped up 
stood and walked around praising God in the temple, walking, jumping, and praising God. His feet and his ankles, his legs that were crippled, are now strengthened by God. Yung pinanghihinaan niya ng mga binti at paa nang marinig ang pangalan ni Jesus, pinalakas muli, nakapaglakad, tumalon, at nagpuri sa Panginoon. My dear brothers and sisters, I hope that in this celebration of the Eucharist, wherever you are right now, as you are watching and listening to the celebration of this Mass, whether you are working in the hospital, you are taking your break, or you are listening to the Mass while you are working, or you are a patient lying in bed, feeling weak, feeling sick. Remember that in these times, when you are feeling sick and weak, when you are feeling cold and lonely, this is the exact time when Jesus is coming to you and letting you feel His power. And remember that when He explains and opens the Scriptures, as we are doing right now, and later, when we will be breaking the bread, showing the Eucharist to you, this is the time when you will feel that your hearts are burning again. Our sad and cold hearts will be warmed by Jesus. Our feet, our legs, our body that are weak will again be strengthened by God through the celebration of this Eucharist. Let us remember the stories in the Bible proclaimed in the Mass today. When we are weak, when we are lonely, when we are cold, when we are sad, this is the time when Jesus approaches us. And when He opens the Scriptures to us, like what happens in the Mass today, when we break the bread, when Jesus breaks the bread for us, He strengthens us once again. He warms our hearts once again. Sana po pagkatapos ng misa na ito, ay maramdaman ninyo ang kapangyarihan ni Jesus. Pagkatapos ng pagdiriwang natin, muling nag-init ang ating mga puso. Pagkatapos ng misa na ito, narinig natin ang salita ng Diyos, hinati ni Jesus ang tinapay, ay palalakasin niya muli ang ating mga katawan. Ganyan ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoong Jesus na muling nabuhay. Amen. Recalling how the disciples on the road to Emmaus recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread, we pray to God the Father for a deeper appreciation of the risen Christ as our spiritual food for the journey through life. For every petition, let us say, Father, give us our daily bread. Father, give us our daily bread that the Pope and the bishops may effectively proclaim the message of hope by their holy lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us our, our daily bread. That government leaders may bring hope and light to our people by their dedication to public service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us our, our daily bread. bread that we may understand why Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us our, our daily bread, bread 
that the sick may be healed and be strengthened by the reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us our daily bread. That the dead may enjoy the fullness of life in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us our, our daily bread. Heavenly Father, grant us the deep faith necessary to recognize your Son in all situations we experience in life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tulad ng mga butil na tinitipon upang maging tinapay na nagbibigay buhay kami na may At maging bayan mong kidil Iisang Panginoon Iisang katawan Isang bayan Isang lahi sa iyo Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks and to acclaim you in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, then formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. You would like to invite everyone tonight, uh, our Wednesday evening habit of praying the healing rosary for the world. Our uh, praying of the rosary tonight will be led by the community of the Parroquia ni San Clemente from Angono Rizal. And uh, we thank their community for leading us, especially this Easter Wednesday, as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord, we joyfully pray this healing rosary for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Regina Shelley, let alleluia. Hallelujah.